Standard 8 Mathematics, Chapter 10, Division of Polynomial, Module 2. In this video, we'll see plenty of examples of dividing polynomials. Let us start with the fourth sum of your practice set, which says divide 4m raised to 5 by 30m cube. Now, this we can do by the simple division method. So we can do 40m raised to 5 divided by 30m cube. So here, m cube from the denominator and m cube from the numerator will get cancelled. And in the numerator, you will be left with m square. So, and this 0 and this 0 can be cancelled off. So you'll be left with 4 upon 3 m square and this would be your quotient the same thing we could do by long division method as well so we are dividing 40 m raised to 5 with 30 m cube so our quotient would be 4 upon 3 m square so 30 m cube into 4 upon 3 m square will give you 40 m raised to 5 which you can just subtract it and then you will get 0. So from here you can conclude that your quotient is 4 upon 3 m square and your remainder is 0. Let us do another sum. So this another sum is the fifth sum of your exercise it says 5x cube minus 3x square divided by x square we can do this sum by the long division method so we are dividing 5x cube minus 3x square with x square so our x square is a dividend now if we multiply x square with 5x i will get 5x cube so we know our first term should be a 5x and x square into 5x will give you 5x cube which you can subtract and you can now take the remaining term below so here you'll have minus 5x square minus 3x square now we have x square as a divisor and if you multiply x square with minus 3, we will get minus 3x square. So we know our next term should be a minus 3 and minus x square into minus 3 will give you minus 3x square. When you do subtraction, since this is a negative sign, the sign will change and you can cancel off minus 3x square with plus 3x square to get 0. So you can conclude that your quotient is 5x minus 3 and your remainder is 0. Let us do the sixth question. It says 8p cube divided by minus 4p square. This is also quite simple. We'll do the long division method. So we have to divide 8p cube minus 4p square with 2p. Now, if we multiply 2p with, uh, sorry, this is 2p square. So, if you multiply 2p square with 4p, we will get 8p cube. So, we know our quotient, first term in the quotient should be 4p. So, 2p square into 4p will give you 8p cube and we can subtract it. So, this will get cancelled off. And now you can bring the remaining term below. So the remaining term is minus 4p square. Now to get minus 4p square, you have to multiply 2p square. That is your divisor. If you multiply it with minus 2, you will get minus 4p square. So we know our next term should be minus 2 here. And minus 2p into minus 2 will give you minus 4p square. And when you do the subtraction, since this is a negative sign, the sign will change and you can cancel minus 4p squared with plus 4p squared and your remainder would be 0. So we can conclude our quotient is 4p minus 2 and the remainder is 0. 
let us do the seventh sum that says 2y cube plus 4y square plus 3 divided by 2y square. Again, we'll do use the long division method. So we have to divide 2y cube plus 4y square plus 3 by 2y square. Okay. So now if I multiply your divisor is 2y square, if you multiply 2y square with y, we will get 2y cube. So you know your first term in the quotient should be y and 2y square into y will give you 2y cube. You can subtract it and this will get cancelled off and you can take the remaining term below. So this would be 4y square plus 3. Now next you see my divisor is 2y square. The first term here is 4y square and if you multiply 2y square with 2 you will get 4y square. So multiply this with 2. So 2y square into 2 will give you 4y square which you can subtract and this will cancel off and you can take the last term below that is 3. Now to note one thing that now here you cannot proceed further because you multiply 2y square with any number you will not get the constant 3 because we have the variable. Also the power of your divisor is lesser than the remainder here. So we can stop here. So from here conclude that your quotient is y plus 2 and your remainder is 3. Let us do the 8th sum. So the 8th sum says 21x raised to 4 minus 14x square plus 7x divided by 7x cube. So we'll do the long division method to get the answer. Now this will be a little bit lengthy sum. So 7x cube and our dividend is 21x raised to 4 minus 14x square plus 7x. Now let us go term by term. Now we know 7x cube is your divisor and if you multiply that with 3x you will get 21x raised to 4. You can subtract it and this term will get cancelled and now you can take the remaining entire term below. So you have 14x square plus 7x. Now the first term here is minus 14 and we know if you multiply 7x cube with since our divisor is 7x cube and I need minus 14x square. So if you see the power here is greater than the power here. So if I multiply 7x cube with minus 2 upon x, this will give you your x and x will get cancelled and this will give you minus 14x square. So 7x cube minus 2 upon x will give you minus 14x square and you can subtract now since this is a negative sign the sign will change and hence you can cancel this now you take the last term below that is 7x now if you multiply 7x 7x cube that is your divisor with 1 by x square so this would give you 7 x because this x square and this will get cancelled and you'll be left with 1x. So here I can write minus plus 1 upon x square. So 7x cube into 1 upon x square will give you 7x which you can subtract and your answer would be 0. So from here we can conclude our quotient is 3x minus 2 upon x plus 1 upon x square and your remainder is 0. Let us do the ninth sum that is 6x raised to 5 minus 4x raised to 4 plus 8x cubed plus 2x squared divided by 2x. So we'll do this by the long division method. So we have to divide 6x raised to 5 minus 4x raised to 4 
plus 8x cube plus 2x square by 2x square. So if you multiply 2x square with 3x cube, so 2x square into 3x cube will give you 6x raised to 5. And we can then subtract this. So 6x raised to 5 and minus 6x raised to 5 will get cancelled off. And you take the remaining entire term below. So minus 4x raised to 4 plus 8x cube plus 2x square. Now next if you see the first term is minus 4x raised to 4. So here if I put minus 2x so 2x square into minus 2x will give you minus 4x raised to 4 and now since you are doing subtraction and this is a negative sign the sign will change and you can cancel this off now you can take the remaining two terms down so that would be 8x cube plus 2x raised to 4 now the first term is 8x cube if I multiply 2x square with 4x, you will get 8x cube. So here, if I put plus 4x, so 2x square into 2x square into 4x will give you 8x cube, which I can write it here. Now you subtract this, so this will get cancelled, and the last term now you take down, so we'll have 2x square now here we have 2x square and we know 2x square if you multiply it with 1 you will get 2x square itself and then you can final subtract it to get 0 so you can conclude that your quotient is 3x cube minus 2x plus 4x plus 1 and your remainder is 0 Now let us do division by a monomial. So we're dividing a polynomial with a monomial, which is very much similar to our previous example. Now we have to divide 25m raised to 4 minus 15m cube plus 10m plus 8 by 5m cube. So we'll look, let us do the long division method. So by long division method, so here we'll have 25m raised to 4 minus 15m cube plus 10m plus 8. We have to divide it by 5m cube. So let us start. So if you multiply 5m cube with 5m, so 5m cube into 5m will give you 25m raised to 4 which you can subtract it now so this will get cancelled now you take the remaining term below so you'll have minus 15 m cube plus 10 m plus 8 now our next here the first term is minus 15 so here if i put minus 3 minus 3 so 5 m into 3 5 m cube into 3 will give you minus 15 m cube so 5 m cube into minus 3 will give you minus 15 m cube and when you subtract it since this is a negative sign the sign will change to plus and you can cancel this off now you take the remaining term below so you'll have 10 m plus 8 so the first is 10 m now if you multiply 5 m cube with with 2 upon m square that will give you 10 m so you can do it further or we can stop it here itself because the power of the divisor is greater than the power of the remainder or the power of the remainder is less than the power of the divisor and hence we can stop or we can do it further as well but we can stop here so we can conclude that our quotient would be 5m minus 3 and your remainder would be 10m plus 8. Let us do exercise 1. We'll do the long division method. 
So we have to divide x square plus 4x plus 4 with x plus 2. Now note one thing here, we are dividing a polynomial with a binomial. So this is a binomial since it has two terms. Now note one thing to solve such type of sums, we need to be a little bit careful. The first term, our divisor is x plus 2. And if you multiply your divisor with 2, so we'll have to multiply this inside the bracket, we'll get 2x plus 4. And if you multiply this with x, if you multiply your divisor with x, so you'll have to multiply the x inside, so you'll have x squared plus 2x. So if you see, this term is a almost same to this term, but just we have your 4x here. So I can multiply here, the first term in my quotient will be x. So x into x plus 2 will give you x squared plus 2x. Now you'll have to subtract. Now this is an entire term. So when you subtract, the sign will change throughout. Now your plus x squared minus x squared cancelled, 4x, 4x minus 2x will give you 2x. And this last term, you can take it below. So it will be plus 4. Now, if you see here, x plus 2, if you multiply it with 2, you'll get 2x plus 4, which is very much similar to this. So I can write here plus 2, and I can multiply this entire x plus 2, that's my divisor with 2, to get 2x plus 4. And you can subtract the sign through, subtract and change the sign throughout. So it will get cancelled and your remainder is 0. So we can conclude that our quotient is x plus 2 and our remainder is 0. Let us do the sum of practice at 10.2 that is dividing a polynomial by a monomial. So here again we'll use the long division method. So we have to divide y square plus 10y plus 24 with y plus 4. Now if you see if you multiply your divisor with y. Okay, so y plus 4 is my divisor and if you multiply it with y you'll get y square plus 4y. So first term is the same. It's matching so I'll write here y and you multiply it here and we'll get y squared plus 4y. Now when you do the subtraction the sign changes throughout. So this plus y squared and minus y squared cancels and you'll be left with 10y minus 4y which is 6y. And this last term you take it below which is plus 24. Now you note one thing, your divisor is the same, y plus 2. If you multiply your divisor with 6, you'll get 6y, 6 into y, 6y, and 6 into 4 will give you 24. So you know your next term in your quotient should be plus 6. So you multiply plus 6 with y plus 4, you will get 6y plus 24. And when you subtract, you'll have to change the sign throughout. So my plus 6y minus 6y plus 24 minus 24 cancels off and you'll be left with 0. So your quotient is y plus 6 and your remainder is 0. Let us do the second sum of the practice set that says dividing p squared plus 7p minus 5 with p plus 2. So again, we are doing long division. So p squared plus 7p minus 5, you're dividing it with p plus 3. Now your divisor is p plus 3. And if you multiply your divisor with p, you will get p squared plus 3p. So we'll do that. So our first term in the, co in the quotient would be p and you multiply it with p plus 3 to get p squared plus 3p. You subtract so the sign will change throughout. p square and minus p square will cancel off and you'll have 7p minus 3p which is 4p. Le next you take this minus 5 down so you have 4p minus 5. Now if you multiply your divisor with 4 so you multiply 4 inside the bracket so you'll have 4p plus 12. 
So the next term in the coefficient would be plus in your quotient would be 4. You multiply it with p plus 3 to get 4p plus 12. Then you subtract and the sign will change throughout. 4p and minus 4p will cancel off and you have minus 15 minus 12 which will give you minus 17. So this would be your remainder. So your quotient is p plus 4 and your remainder is minus 17. That's it for this video. Thank you.